Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you would like a chance at a free personal reading, comment your astrological sign below. And if you enjoyed the content and would like more videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome and I upload messages daily. So Gemini, 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 Gemini. This is your weekly reading for October 27th through November 2nd. So in the pre-shuffle, pre-meditation, I was getting this big sense that you're really focusing on decluttering, decluttering your living space, decluttering your life. Just really spending some time getting things organized, getting clear on um, finances, um, goals, even clearing out space, maybe feng shui your house. Also, spend some time looking at your eating habits. Okay, don't be afraid to incorporate some healthier eating habits into your life. Um, another thing that I'm just feeling inclined to say is if you feel like crying, just let it out. Crying is like the, the rain for the soul. It kind of washes away the hurt, the pain, all the emotions, and it really kind of helps, you know, after you cry, I don't know if, if it's the same for everybody else, but after I have a really good cry and I'm over it, I kind of feel better. Like, I just feel, like, relieved. So, if you feel like crying, cry it out. It's okay to cry. Even for guys, it's okay to cry. Um, if you don't want to cry in front of people, then cry in the shower. So, Gemini, what we have here in your weekly reading is um, we have the King of Cups, the Hierophant, Page of Swords in Reverse, Justice, and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, one thing I want to point out is the Ten of Pentacles is in the position of the outcome. The guiding card here is the King of Cups. I want to say this is a person coming towards you. Now, this could be a water sign, but I feel like this person is somebody who... Who cares for you has unconditional love for you maybe you guys have ties from the past um, because with the judge the hierophant card here the page of swords in reverse um, I really get the sense here that there's been blocked communication with this person so this is definitely a person from your past now, there is going to be justice brought into the situation. There's going to be balance. Um, justice is also the card that symbolizes court cases. Um, and when it's in the upright position, it, it symbolizes turning out in your favor. But I really get the sense here, Gemini, that there's still some things that you need to accept within the situation. There's still some things that you're going to need to learn. I also feel like you're not wanting to see the situation for what it really is. Um, and there's still... Like I said, there's still some accepting on your part of this um, 
of what has gone on in this situation. The two of wands in this deck, it symbolizes being distracted or um, not fully committed to a situation. I also get the sense here, Gemini, that this person may have left you out in the cold at one point too. Maybe that's why you blocked communication. But I get the sense that with the Page of Swords in reverse, there's, you guys aren't speaking. Um, there may be a need to change your perspective on this. Now, I understand there was a lot of deceit. Um, but I feel like you have love for this person too. This person is somebody who you feel a soul connection to, soul ties to. I feel like this has you very confused because there is pain surrounding this person this person has um has really caused a lot of pain within your life so what we have on the bottom of the deck here is the hanged man the three of swords the world card and the ace of cups i feel like you you need to change your perspective on this heart heartache i feel like the perspective that you have here right now is like woe is me everybody hurts everybody hurts um I feel like there's a need to put work in on this. You need to really heal this heartache. Um, try to find the lesson that there was to learn in this. Maybe you didn't communicate. There wasn't proper communication about how you feel to this person. Maybe you played a certain role without there being any commitment. Really naive about relationships. And I feel like now you have a better understanding of what it takes to make the, a relationship work. There's two more months in this decade. I've been saying this a lot on all my social media platforms. There's two more months in this decade. There's a need for acceptance here. Um, there's a need to work on, work on certain things within yourself. Heal this heartache, heal this heal the pain. The balance will come the balance will come when you work on yourself work on this healing process focus on the goals that you want this self-discovery self-healing process that's what's going to clear the confusion So, Gemini, let's get some psychic tarot out here because um, this, this deck really gets right to it.
The Ten of Pentacles is the abundance card, financial security. It symbolizes working on some type of business venture or financial investment that's going to bring in generational wealth. So whatever it is that you're working on, whatever you've gone through in the past is bringing you to this point. You needed to experience the things you experienced in the past to be able to be at the point where you are now, but also to go where you're headed. And I feel like there's this sense of understanding, okay? So there is going to be a little bit of waiting. I don't sense that this is going to happen this week. This is just the start of the process, okay? Starting this process now, taking some time reviewing the past at least couple years but what i recommend to my clients is to have the self-discovery process really take hold in your life review the past 10 years okay take an account write on a piece of paper every single year for the past 10 years write out the positive things that happened that year and the negative things that happened that year and then after you have it all of that out of your system go through each step and process, process those things, you know, go back. If it's a happy moment, take some time, look at pictures, you know, reminisce, have, feel these happy feelings again. And if it's a negative time, take some time to think about, okay, what was it that I would, I needed to learn from that situation? You know, what could I have done differently to have a different outcome? Or did I learn anything? Was there a situation that presented itself similar in the future that I handled differently than that situation? Go through this process. It's going to bring in a higher sense of awareness. Um, it's going to bring in a lot of understanding about what you've gone through. And going through this process is ultimately going to help you move on from this heartache. You're not going to be able to bring in this Ace of Cups, this love fulfillment relationship when you're still focused on the past whether it's with this past person or someone in the future. This reading here, Gemini, is about self-love, self-worth, self-healing, um, self-discovery, okay? Now, we have the Hierophant twice. I feel like this card is coming out because it's symbolizing you're being brought closer to your soul's purpose by going through this process. You're going to discover a lot about yourself. You're going to discover a lot about what you've gone through, how it's benefited you. I feel like you may even figure out what's what motivates you, what is unacceptable for you you're gonna know what your boundaries are better so take some time go through the steps heal you know what they say hurt people hurt people they also say heal, healed people, heal people. You're overcoming a lot of difficulties. There's a lot of um, a 
a lot of negative situations that you've gone through. And I feel like you may have suppressed a lot of these emotions. That's why at the beginning of the message I was getting, I was hearing the, if you need to cry, let it out. Suppressing those emotions only causes resistance in the healing process. It's like... When we're like, oh, we don't have time to deal with that, we have to work, or we don't have time to deal with that, we have to do this, that, or the other thing. We don't allow ourselves to process, learn the lesson, and get closure, even if it's within ourselves. So when we suppress those things, those emotions have to come out eventually. And depending on how many times or how much you suppress, it could all come out barreling out at once and you may seem a little crazy. So try not to suppress those things. You know, if you need to talk about something, talk about it. And that may be one of the lessons that you need to learn is really having this understanding of your limits and when enough is enough and um, when you need to talk about it. Get clear. Crystal clear intentions symbolizes getting clear on what it is that you truly want out of life, out of love, out of career, out of finances. What direction do you see, do you see yourself going? I'm not saying do this all this week, but definitely have it done before the beginning of the year. Set your intentions now. So that way you already know, okay, when this day happens, you might even get through this process sooner and decide why wait, why wait till the beginning of the year? I've already set my intentions. I've already done this planning process. Why not start now? Have compassion with yourself, have compassion with others. I feel like this, even though we don't have the Ten of Swords coming out, I feel like this situation is opening you up, Gemini, to a new perspective on relationships, on life. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't look at this past relationship so negatively. Um, try to, yes, there are negative things that happened within that situation, but there's also a lot of positive a lot of good a lot of things that you learned about yourself you might not have known if you didn't go through that process so have compassion with everyone involved in this situation but mostly for yourself you're learning a lot you're going through a process um have patience but mostly with yourself it's a learning process. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you go and experience that person or that lesson or you you have another experience that reminds you of a past person or lesson, it's okay. You didn't go through that for nothing. And now you're going through this with a better understanding. So you'll handle the situation differently each time. But you have to be open to that. So Gemini, get clear on what it is that you truly want and have patience with the process. So that is the message that I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you want to get in on the personal readings, comment your astrological sign below. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.